So welcome back, everyone, for another round of Subnautica. I just decided to try and get out of my Cyclops, and this is what happened. I don't know why, but it launched me way up into the sky. And I'm seeing more problems still with weirdness with the Cyclops and just, you know, stuff that's happening, I think. It's because I'm using the Altera hub in it. Because I've never used that normally. And, oh, wow, you can see, like, even a shaking effect kind of on the edges of my uh, visor. Which is totally not something I usually see. And, well, this is what's happened with my Cyclops. Which is already done this previously. I, I did have this happen where it launched it up above the water. And I had to get within so many meters for it to, you know, do something. Oh, yeah, just weirdness happening with the Cyclops. Again, it's, I guess it's because I'm using this because I have never used the hub inside before. I've used the med bay, but never the hub. So maybe it's just something with my placement of the hub. Maybe I need the hub in a different spot. Right, just for now, because I really don't have any other spots that are... Acting like he'll place, we'll place it here. And if I continue to have weirdness, then I'll just take it out entirely. Let's see, I need to readjust my position. So last time I got the new Kyanite production base going, I'm still making money uh, with it. And it's pushing the extra power up here, so I have plenty of power at this base. And so I decided to add some extra power going over to that new deep driller, try to get me some more supplies going. But, you know, it's time to actually start ramping some stuff up. And this still will not save my new inputs. I have been putting in stuff like the spores and everything, and it just keeps removing them. I say that's not using any power, even though it's yeah, so, okay. So that's still acting goofy at times. But yeah, this one just won't keep that. Every time I save and close out, it, it deletes those for some reason. Maybe this new update will fix that. And this has a ton of diamond stuck in there because this is full. Um, I thought I turned the diamond off. No, it's still filtering just diamond. Okay. Uh, yeah, I thought I turned that off, actually. I thought I had disabled that. We're going back to this. Okay, that's that's weird. All right, all right, well, you know, now I know that it'll dump any extra into the interior storage when I don't have room over there. So I guess I am not moving this one right here at the moment. Uh, I guess I need to turn that processing back on. So you know what? I'm going to start after I get this fixed. I'm going to go to the original base, the one by the survival pod. I'm going to break that down and get all the gold out and i'll have one more consumer to put down at the new base okay uh i'm missing something here i guess there was a uh, couple of updates and i uh i i've installed the updates but i haven't been back here in a while and apparently it wiped out my transceiver from here because that was the only way i could have the the items being moved over automatically was with a transceiver and apparently that's gone. So my server racks still have servers, which is a good thing. Uh, so maybe I took the transceiver out. I don't remember, but I don't think so because I was passing gold still. I was using it for money production. So that's weird. My transceiver's missing from that location. And it's making me wonder, even though I have money still coming in from Kyanot, uh, processing. What if that's not because it keeps adding Kyanite, but because of the Kyanite already in the consumer? You know what? I've got another deep driller. I've got another remote storage unit. I've got stuff for making another consumer. I'm going to head down to uh, the money base, the lava zone base, and uh, just make sure everything's good. Pending nine. So it's still working fine on this and that is building up slowly you know it's not massive increase uh in terms of production but you know i've got an extra one of these i'll throw that there for now and then i'm gonna put the new ore consumer here 
And we'll just, you know, we'll, we'll, uh, I'll stack it here for now. I'll reorganize this later, but at least it's showing that. So maybe it's just because the thing was empty. Maybe I did take the, uh, no, I have no transceiver. Yeah, the transceiver is gone. So it's not that I was crazy. It's the transceiver's gone and I cannot select anything on it. So while the transceiver is gone and I can't select anything, it seems to still be processing the same way. So I wonder if it is because I got, well, no, even with this, it shouldn't be dumping into that. Of course, now I can't put in ores there. I guess I'm going back for a transceiver. So that's interesting that the transceivers specifically have disappeared. So buying another transceiver, just the one for right now. I don't need one at this base and might as well, just because I am sharing power, uh, we'll throw in six more of the jet streams down there. Just so I have plenty of room and that probably should be good for a little while. That should let me ramp up my production a bit. Yeah. And about half of what I uh, had money wise gone. You know what? I got the deep driller and I just realized I didn't bring any lubricant for it. So, you know, what? I'm not even going to worry about it. I'm just going to take it out. I'm going to set up more power production here and I'm just going to ramp up that deep driller, especially when it's cheaper power wise to just ramp the deep drillers up rather than put a second one in. Okay, transceiver, slot number 17 again. Stay. Stay. And plenty of power, so let's ramp this thing up. 25 per day. We're going to change that. Let's go 75 per day. I, I feel pretty good about the amount of power I've got. Yeah, I could just jump to 100, but let's just see how it goes. After all, I am trying to share some of the power output back to the uh, main base. So with all the additional turbines, the jet streams, 36,005 or 750 power. Plus, well, I did bring that one solar panel cluster thing over. So yeah, without even really trying that hard, I've already hit 36,000 power. And I was saying, you know, I could try for 100,000. That's going to be easy. You know, I have just the solar panels alone, the clusters. 30 of those is going to be almost enough to get me 100,000. So adding all the jet streams, stuff like that, a few different power production bases around the world, all tied into this one, not going to be an issue to break 100,000. So I'm thinking I can strive for that 1 million power capacity by the end. Uh, for now... Yep, double, yep, that's still... Oh, ah. How did I turn it off when uh, everything else was still working? That's interesting. It worked while the power was off. Okay, so I'm not going to put... Okay, the transceiver's still here for this one. Uh, so I'm not going to put another one here. That's weird. Two transceivers disappeared on me. Maybe it's because I was out of range of them. I don't know. I need some better placement for these. The power pylon can be moved. The solar panels need to be placed better. I need to start getting some kind of feel of a structure for this. And you know, actually, I may need to take that out temporarily because I have way, way, way too much stuff over there in it. Let's, you know, uh, where would where, it go? I got that other one. Yeah, I got another remote storage unit. I'm just going to put it over here for now. And that should still be within range. And we should have it hopefully not dumping. Okay. Uh, I guess I got to target that one. Uh, 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 yep. Tell me that's, that's in range. Or is it? No. No, it is. It's maybe just outside of range. Fine. I'll put it closer Look, right here. I can see it right there. I was just past the range on it. 
Oh yeah, look at that. Look how fast it's transferring. That slows down at the end. I don't. I, I, maybe it's like a gas pump. It's like, or you know, power adapter is fast charge, and then it's like, oh, it's getting almost full. Better slow down. And we're going to add some more foundations. Expand out a bit more in this direction. I wish we had like a half foundation, you know, one that was just like would just kind of barely cut in and let me place it there. Now I'm thinking, you know, I'm just going to actually have that as like a little separate spot. Maybe a drop down there, you know, to get access to a lower level. I don't know yet. I'm going to go ahead and build across. And this is just going to be part of the solar area i thought about building up using the little foundations trick to connect all the way up there but you know while it looked cool to have tons of solar panels up at the top of the mountain i don't want to deal with the trouble of getting up there right now i might add some later on that spot but for now i'm just gonna stick with something right here maybe all right got my layout for how everything is kind of going to look as now let's see about these lights well there's one light and uh, there's the lights uh guess roughly in the middle i mean i could always add more normal solar panels but i don't think i want to do that kind of thinking i want to do just these here and if i decide to do more solar power i'll do it by you know separate base Another base, all solar panels, just, you know, decked out. Specifically for power production. So I don't think this is a change made in the mod. I could be wrong, but I am using the building tweak mods, which mean I can actually build inside stuff outside and, you know, some stuff vice versa. I got more control with the building tweaks mods. So I'm actually going to have this outside. So it's nice and open. Feels like a big Stargate type of thing. And now... I can, you know what, we'll add it to the uh, network. Let's see what, if I can interact with it. Okay, that could be a problem. Uh, it looks good outside, but I don't seem to be able to do anything with it. Okay, so building tweets mod, I can put it outside, but it's still not working. All right, so we got that. Uh, we're going to rename it to, uh, main base hub for now. And then I'll rename it later. So it's, it's on there. Global network, nothing local network, nothing. Cause I don't have any others, but that is about to change as I'm about to go down to the other base, make it easy to get over there. I totally do not recommend doing what I'm about to do, but because I am familiar with the map pretty well now at this point, and I kind of know generally what direction to go in, I was able to find my way with just the sea glide to the tunnel. And so because I want to actually save time of making the return trip, I'm not taking the sea moth. I am actually going down into the tunnel from surface to the lava zone base, one tank of air. Oh yeah, just in time. Actually with a little time to spare. So I can go ahead and just throw the extra uh, lubricant in. That done. And now Welcome aboard, inside with plenty of power for everything. 7,000 power here. So I'm not really getting that much up top. Uh, and it seems to be balancing. That's not a good thing. First, teleport of this game save. Bam, there we go. So fast, so nice. And uh, you know what? I know exactly what I'm going to do now. There we go. Four more. That makes a total of 18 jet streams there. And 
Yes, yeah, already producing 224.3 per minute. Five, so yeah, about 225 each. That's a good amount of power. Uh, this is still increasing. I turned it down to 50. It's still increasing. I definitely am going to need another consumer here. Well, let's see how the power is doing. So 9,000 power total. Well, that's unfortunate. I can't get this one to place the same spot as that one. That one's not poor. What the? Okay, so I end up with a gap. Well, there it goes. Okay, maybe I just wasn't aiming far enough away or something. It's just it. Okay, I just had it. I had it doing it. All right, this one is not going to be precisely lined up. As long as it won't mess up this one, which I bet it's going to. Yep, okay. Uh, I'm going to have to make this a little bit wider. Maybe it's the way I'm aiming. Yeah, because that like it works right there. If that's... But that's not lined up with that. Uh, gotta be difficult. Can't just go in. All right, that's lined up. So this line up. Now it won't even place there. Ah, frustrating. Okay, so got that one at least. Maybe I can use the open gap for some other element. Uh, something else. Maybe that's where I could put the transmitter. The power pylon. Because that, that could be a fun little spot. Yes. I know it's kind of a problem to get these to line up right. Because you've got to be aiming so far away from you your character to get them to actually like want to place and then you get that okay so some reason that one placed in the middle the others don't want to place in the middle uh so i'm just gonna have a gap here well that is interesting i could place all the way off the edge but if i rotate it it won't place in the same spot like right there if i rotate it'll place there but not facing outside. So maybe that's part of the problem. Even though that's facing this way, it's working. Maybe that is what I need to do. Maybe I need to have these facing inwards. <gasps> no! That's even placing closer to the other side than before oh no oh what such a tiny change it's not even perfectly lining up you know what i'm fine with that there we go nice uh that is let's see four and that set that's three and three so that's ten total Solar clusters, each one producing a capacity of 2,975. So right there, that's 29,750 power storage without anything else. That's not counting what I've added. So now, Welcome aboard, Captain. <laughs> 68,000 power. See, uh, that 100,000 power is going to be very easy to get. Nice. I like the lighting effect. That that actually works really well. I'm gonna have to put two more on the outside edge so it lights it up nice at night. But now it's time. I'm gonna move this and we'll go fix the power pylon stuff. I just, I'm not. Please remove all connections to this pylon. Okay, well that's that's easy enough. Bam, there we go. Uh turned off. Move this. Maybe I can do it without having to go back down below uh but it all depends on if this goes and marks as pylon number three i don't want it to show as pylon number three yep power pylon number three all right so we're gonna take that one out i i um i only have the solar panels clusters here 
and I just disconnected the pylon, and yet it's showing my total power capacity at 59,500. That doesn't add up. It, it does not. So I'll take this out, and I'm just burning through some power right now to teleport back and forth, but it beats swimming. There we go. TP number four. Okay, so it doesn't matter how many there are in the world. It's just going to automatically increment every time. I, I feel like that should reset. Like, it should be based on the number, but I guess that's just, you know, it locks it in somehow. Well, all right. Uh, so... If you want numero uno to be the main one, don't move it. And now I just notice I went from 59,000 total power to 56,000 total power. So it's making me wonder with the fact that it's keeping the ID number for it, is it counting some of the power uh, interaction between the two bases as still active on this one for some reason? Because this is the one that was pulling power in. Pull. TP Agent 005. All right, so we got that going. All right, that's working. Power usage zero. Uh, okay, yeah, I should be pretty good now. I mean, I don't have a deep driller here pulling a lot of power. The one over there isn't pulling much. Let's see how this is doing. Maybe it reset my total capacity. Oh, back up to 65,000 capacity. See how much my power is going up now. So, all right, I got supplies. Y'all, I'm going to take some stuff out uh, this time to make a little trip. Well, I figured it was time to finally make a trip to the floating island because I need some unlocks. Well, not, not really that much, but, you know, it'd be good to go ahead and get them. Let's go ahead and get food stuff so I can go ahead and get that done. I've also got something else I want to do here. And grab all the scans I can. Plenty of stuff here. If you don't know where I'm at, it's the floating island. You'll find it as part of the story. You know, there's there's spots to come and scan things. And I've already got that. I'll get the fern palm though. Yeah. And there is the center one. And there is the far one. And you just you know, see where I am next to the aurora. It's the other spot that's foggy on the uh, map, you know, when you're looking around. Yeah, grab PDA. I think I've already got everything that this one has for me to scan. Uh, bulkhead, everything. I spotlight all that. Getting dark. So it's time to head home. And now I know some people are thinking like, wait, 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 before you go, solar's farm, you know, big, big solar panel thing. And I will probably do that. I will probably use this as a solar base at some point. Uh, just simple. You know, probably just a bunch of foundations, a pylon, a teleporter so I can get out here if I need to for any reason. And I'll probably do that. But for now, I'm not going to worry about that. So I'm making a special pit stop here. Because the last time, my first base was built very close to this. And I ended up using the power transmitters to push all the way over here and build a ton of of thermal plants because this is some of the hottest locations in the game right here i was able to get over 100 degrees celsius at a few of the thermal plants here which is hotter than what you get in the inactive lava zone right there at my base sitting on lava or you know magma the, that part so if i want thermal power for anything this is the place to do it there's plenty of room plenty of spots lot of heat so i am going to set up for now the basics of a little base and for that i'm also going to incorporate tidal power i'm going to use the jet streams here so we're going to do a set of foundations and i've got a beacon so i can find my way back easily right now uh so yeah foundations i'm just going to kind of frame along the edge here and have it all tie in through a power transmitter below. Be fine. It'll work. There we go. All right. Now, 
If I had a big room from below zero to work with, I would totally use that right now, but we don't have that at the moment. So we'll go with the standard multi-purpose room while I'm getting bit. And uh, I'm just gonna do like this. So we'll have kind of a combination like uh, Cyclops comes up here, parks, I go in this way. But at the same time, uh, also a good spot for, if I want, I could do a vertical connector system going down. I don't think I'm going to worry about that, but it, it's an option. And yes, technically I could do solar power here. Let's go ahead and point that out. I could do that. I could intermix things where I have some solar power like that. And then, you know, in the gap, between the two solar clusters, I could do one of these. I could do that. I could intermix it. And that might be fine. But the thing is, I'm not going to get a huge amount of power solar-wise here. Not as much as at the mountain or on the floating island with it being in open air above sea level. So instead of doing the thermal power here, I'm going to do all tidal and or instead of solar power here to get my words right. Uh, I'm not going to do solar. I'm going to do thermal because of the heat sources and I'm going to do the jet streams because it's tidal. So this way I, it's a nice balance. When I do a solar farm at the floating uh, island, it kind of ties into the style of the location. One, two, three, four. Uh, I think, nope, yep, got more. I get, I got, Power was it six maybe I got? I can't remember. I used about half of my money again. Actually, no, I'm going to take that out. Because now we're going to put in the pylon. The power pylon. You know what? Because of where the, the door is over there. It's swim up here. We'll do this. I'm going to leave it and push. So when we get back, we're going to add uh, pylon 006. And let's keep it a nice even number for now. So that's got me down to enough I could buy one more, but I'm, I'm gonna keep it to a nice even number for the moment. There we go. So that is seven per row. Yeah, seven on each side. So if I replicate on that side, it's another seven on each row. So that's technically 14 per row. Uh, and I will get three rows per side. Of course, I don't have money to finish this off, but I'll do that later. But three rows per side of 14 per row total between the sides. It's going to be a lot of power just from the turbines. I'm already up to 8,000 power now. And it doesn't really matter because it'll connect wirelessly through everything. So you see it's connecting to that and to the base area. So now let's go try building one down here. I think I am. I think I am just too far for it to pick up. Yeah. All right. Uh, I need supplies. Or just the fact I don't have any magnetite to build anything. I got one magnetite with me. So I totally did not have what I need for the thermal plants. So, all right. Thermal plants. The power transmitter is there. But the plants themselves will actually have to wait. I'm going to go ahead and take the you know, the blueprint placement ghost out just so I don't risk possibly messing something up. Time to pull from not five, but six. And so that's two of six frequency slots. So you can buy the upgrades that are expensive, you know, like a million credits to buy the upgrade to add more slots to that particular one. But they're, you know, push and pull. So if I... You know, I could basically, I guess, have it where I put another one here and push somewhere else and kind of do like a one on each one and create this big network. I just don't see the need for that. But here I've got two done. I've got that was is that six. That's 10 of those plus all the jet streams down at the lava zone mining site and all the new jet streams plus the ones waiting to be built over there. I'm at 70,000. So if I had more money, I'd be, I'd probably get that 100,000 right now, but I, I made it to at least 70,000 already between 
three bases. Yeah, three sites. I'm already at 70,000. So I didn't make it to 100,000 yet, but I'm on my way. Well on my way. I just got to let my money build up. It's going to be faster now with the extra consumer down below. And once I get my diamond under control a little bit better at this base, I'm going to move the other one down there. I'll probably get four consumers down there if I had to, you know, say what I think would be a good balancing point. And yeah, that was that base in the lava zone is decked out in terms of the production and the money making. It's really just adding whatever else extra I want there for power, but I'm not going to focus on it being a power base. It's a money base. Power base will be the new one, which remember, if you've got a cool, clever idea for the name, put it in a comment below. And at least I'm going to do a power base on the floating island. If you've got any other places you'd like to see a power oriented base, Put in a comment below as well and say why you think that would be a good spot and what theme of power you think it would be good. Solar, thermal, water current, you know, tell me in a comment what places you like to see a base for that and why, what you think would be a good fit. But that's it for this episode. So if you enjoyed it, hit the like button, leave me a comment below on one of the things, like I said, or just say hi. And of course, hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. As always, I'm your host, Mr. Spicy. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to keep it spicy this week, and I'll see you in the next video.